Hey there, Cancer. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Cancer placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. If it doesn't fit for your situation, guys, please excuse my nails, Cancer. I'm in the process of taking these, these shits off my hands because, honey, I didn't injure this finger. I bent my nail and it cracked the middle of my finger, so <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> I'm not getting my nails done for another three months. I'm good. <laughs> It's just that just turned me completely off, right? They cute, but I just don't got time for that shit. So, anywho, so please excuse my hands. Um, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation, flip and switch the roles. Um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And um, please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms. I'm going to be pulling a few oracles at the end, so. Excuse me, let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and my loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. What's going on here for Cancer? What does Cancer need to hear and know at this time? Messages for Cancer. Okay, so we have baggage, burdens, taking the past along, holding on, unnecessary weight. Hmm. What else? Crumbs, minimal effort, string al stringing along, giving just enough, leading on. Hmm. And intuitive as fuck. Okay. Clarity, seeing through illusions, cutting through fluff, strong insight. <clears throat> you could have Pisces in your chart or obviously Cancer. You could have Cancer in another placement or multiple placements, really. So, Cancer, um, I feel like your intuition could be telling you that somebody is, is like stringing you along they're not they're giving you the bare minimum here bottom of the deck is scoring cooking up sexual conquest getting laid feeling boastful and committed seeing things through sticking it out staying together linked up somebody here somebody here could be in another relationship <laughs> let's see what this is because i don't like it Excuse me. Some of you guys are just reflecting because we are in the retrograde. This is what? The shadow period of the retrograde. Yeah, the tower. Hmm, the tower of seven of cups, four of swords. Some of you guys are introspecting because maybe you're thinking about the past. You could be thinking about a relationship where you've gotten um, the bare minimum or they show minimal effort. So I feel like you're trying to you're trying to um follow your gut instincts instead of letting anxiety or fear take over, you know? Because it's a burden is taking the past along. For some of you though, somebody is in a relationship. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody could be in a relationship where they, you know, this could have been the past. They were cheating on the person they were in a relationship with with you. Okay, and that shit went left. So now you're just kind of like scared about any other connections you make going forward so that could be things that you need to review or introspect on because it's just fear but let's see what's baggage here let's just see what it is what's baggage yeah there you are cancer coming out <clears throat> the chariot What's baggage here with the chariot? Yeah, the queen of wands. I feel like, yeah, the devil and the star. Yeah, I feel like you're still healing from something major. And I, I feel like, honestly, this is internally. Obviously, you had stuff done to you that made you that way. <clears throat> but I mean, we often have to take responsibility for how we react to things and how we handle certain situations. We can't let it affect our future. Our future. 
So you could have Aries in your chart. I feel like you're really trying to push through with confidence here with the chariot. Some of you guys are definitely trying to move on from something. I feel like it's a challenge, though. It's really hard. Yeah, the High Priestess, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's something that you're reviewing subconsciously or need to review subconsciously. It's some sort of betrayal. Yeah, Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, introspection. When it comes down to your inner child, some of you guys are looking at an offer. You're trying to see if this offer is good enough for you. Okay. You know, I'm getting this energy where you have someone around you that's like opening up to you, but they're doing it in their own time. It's taking patience. And I feel like you're very much so the kind of person that's like, you ready to get something going right now. <laughs> and because it's not happening on your time, you are over, like you're overthinking it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Four of Pentacles, the sun. Okay, let, let's just see though. But the Queen of Wands talks about um, somebody that's really passionate and they go after the things that they desire. They're very confident, very fun to be around as well. Let's let's see though, because um, I don't know why I'm feeling there's just a bit of ego somewhere. I don't know if it's with you or somebody else, but What's the chariot? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's the chariot with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? You could be pushing through some sort of financial struggle or somebody you're connecting to is financially struggling. Four of Swords, Libra, Jupiter. I feel like... Somebody here could be stressed about finances or money. Yeah, Three of Swords, Knight of Cups. There's some sort of instability here that somebody is thinking about or maybe you're overthinking it because the situation is not providing you. I mean, that's something to think about though. I feel like you're trying to weigh your options here. Okay, like you're you're thinking, you're contemplating, you're trying to figure out what to do, how to maneuver. Um, there could be a loss of money, a loss of a home, a loss of material wealth. Definitely. It doesn't have to be anything. Well, there's, there's a sense of like instability that I feel like you're trying to, you're obviously you're trying to get to a place of stability. And I feel like it's triggering you a little bit because when you don't feel stable, you're just you're just like no it's like i don't i don't want to do it but that's that's something that makes sense though right that's something that makes sense what's the ace of pentacles in reverse what is that or there's been a delay or some type of setback yeah the queen of cups in reverse there could be a third party here in the way cancer somebody that's like this could be you child or this could be another cancer <laughs> Okay, this Queen of Cups in reverse. I'm getting so many messages at one time, child. So this is not a third party situation. A third party could be something internally within you or within another person that you're connected to, right? This Queen of Cups in reverse talks about mistrust. Okay, like you don't trust someone here. There's a level of emotional immaturity that could need to be worked on in order to, to have something successful. Um, some of you guys could be overextending or you could have overextended. You're trying to find balance with not being over, like overextending yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there needs to be a balance of self-care, self-love. And I feel like there's a need to maybe slow your roll a little bit. Let, let people and let, let things happen. Okay. You can't force nothing to happen. I feel like this is something is triggering you. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because somebody does lack some sort of stability and you're used to like caring or being the leader in a relationship, especially if you're a woman. Yeah, King of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Cups and the Temperance. There could be somebody here that you're connecting to, Cancer. They're walking away from something. They're needing time. The Temperance could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces. 
they're needing time to process their feelings, their emotions, possibly. This person is not really that emotionally expressive, but they show you that they care in little ways, but they're not emotionally expressive. I feel like that has you in this Queen of Cups energy where you're, yeah, 10-10 on the clock, on the timer, where you're, it's throwing you off. Okay. Let's see. There could be a child here. There's a situation that's just taking a lot out of you. I feel like it's taking a lot, but the chariot is upright. So that talks about victory. This could indicate travel too. Some of you guys could be going on a trip. Or you're just on a very specific journey. Let's see. Give me more on this Queen of Cups in reverse. With this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> hmm. Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Things are changing. I don't know if this is in your financial sector or this is like something within you emotionally. Something is changing. There's a lack of like stability somewhere. Though. I feel like you're, it, you'll be able to move past it. This could be with a third party that's like really spiteful or vindictive as well. Things are going to change for the better. I just feel like you you weren't quite prepared for something to come in the way that it came in. And maybe you weren't quite prepared to handle a certain, I mean, to deal with like a certain situation. Something is, is throwing you off. All right. With the Wheel of Fortune, that's good karma though. I just feel like it's taking a level of like patience and trust, something that you're struggling with clearly with the Queen of Cups in reverse. And um, it's taking a, a lot of, um, you're having to, to do a lot of introspection too. So, mm. and then, like I said, for some of you, if there is a third party in the mix, that could be causing a lot of friction too. Like, it's just a lot going on, I feel, from this. What's this Four of Swords? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Who this King of Pentacles? Taurus. Who the King of Pentacles? Yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. Definitely. So I'm getting the story too where somebody here feels stuck or stagnant in a situation where they're having to take care of somebody or... They have some sort of responsibility elsewhere, possibly. That could be what's causing, like, I feel like a little bit of, somebody is not, and I feel like for some of you, this could be something new that's just stagnant right now, okay? With that Ace of Pentacles, it could talk about something being at a stalemate. It's coming in. I just feel like it's not coming in when you want it to. You're ready for something. I feel like somebody else is not, and that's kind of like throwing you off a little bit, so it's triggering you. I feel like you're thinking about how long should I be patient for something? What what, what am I supposed to be doing in this situation? It's, it, you feel stagnant. Eight of Cups in reverse. Definitely, like I said, another card of emotional immaturity, stagnancy. It's going to talk about somebody faking their happiness. <laughs> These could be abandonment issues coming up here too. Insecurities with the Eight of Cups in reverse. Something about your emotions is fucked up. I feel like you're trying to stay grounded through it though. And I feel like if you're this King of Pentacles, whether you're a man or woman, <clears throat> you could be this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups. I don't know, but I feel like you are um, trying to stay grounded. Really, really trying to be practical minded, but it's hard because maybe uh, emotions are involved now. Yeah. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. It's something that you're working on. It's something where you, you want stability, security in your relationships. You deserve it, right? So I feel like you're really trying to see if there's something that you should be patient for or if there's something that you should move on from, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Death Card. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, the Hangman, yeah, the Five of Cups. It's something that needs to be released. Yeah, King of Cups, the Devil, the Star, the Ten of Pentacles. 
I feel like, you know, if you and this person are connecting cancer, this person, they have a toxic trait within there. I feel like it's emotionally. It's something about them emotionally that is throwing you off emotionally. It's not... This person, I feel like they're still healing from something. And it's crazy because I'm seeing like something could potentially work out between you and somebody. Now, like I said, this could be new. Something from your past you could be carrying around too, though. It's something where you and this person kind of like marry each other in the sense. But I feel like there's fear of them being vulnerable. This could be something that they need to heal from. And it's throwing, it's, it's throwing you off because you want to be able to trust this person, but they're not giving you anything emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Or enough, you know? And I feel like it could be a bit of ego in a way too between both of y'all two. There needs to be some compromise somewhere. I don't know who this is. Or... Yeah, two of cups. The fool, the judgment. Spirit is like testing your, your faith here. Cause something does look promising and I feel like I feel like you feel like it does too, but it's not it's something is just not going the way that you want it to go. <laughs> or the way that you feel like you need it to go right now. So maybe just try to shift your perspective, you know. Um, what's the eight of cups in reverse? Yeah. Cancer moon. A lot of cancer here, damn. Four of Cups in Reverse. That's like seizing an opportunity. <clears throat> Coming out of this energy where you're feeling like self-absorbed or discontent or whatever. So I feel like you're not stuck somewhere. I feel like you have seized an opportunity or you will be, but it's, it's something... It's some sort of emotional immaturity somewhere. You're gonna need to look at that. I wanna, I have some shadow work cards I'm gonna pull at the end just to see what comes out. And this could be you or somebody else you're connecting to that has to do this shadow work. But yeah, Five of Cups, it's like something still here. Five of Cups, the Hangman, the Four of Pentacles, the Devil, and the King of Cups. Mm. What's this, um, Queen? who this Queen of Wands right here? something is moving but it's still stuck kind of like you can't really outwardly do something there's some sort of baggage or burden it could be this queen of cups in reverse somebody's baby mama or whoever it is this person is like it could be vindictive or just very controlling very spiteful emotionally manipulative or that's you yeah the temp yeah look the temperance sagittarius something needs like patience or you're being protected what's the queen of wands with the temperance The Nine of Swords. <laughs> Child. Mm. You're nervous about something or something about... Some of you guys are definitely healing some sort of like a uh, mindset or it could be the way that you're thinking. It could be overthinking. Whatever this is, is it's a unnecessary weight. Something needs patience. And whatever you're doing too is triggering this other person. I feel like it's a masculine in your energy. I feel like I'm talking to a woman that's kind of like um feeling a little uh, like you don't you don't trust the situation. It's triggering you. But I don't, I really don't see nothing bad. The only thing that I might see that's bad is that there's a third party, right? And I feel like even with that, there's a level of honesty about it but it's still triggering you <laughs> like it's still triggering you no matter what <sighs> it's a lie I feel like you just probably need to introspect and just take time to yourself and I feel like these are feelings of like you want to try to lock something down before it gets away from you but I feel like what you don't see it as it's not really going nowhere but it's also not it's it, whatever this is it's not coming in the time that you want it to come in you know what I'm saying like it's going to take patience time building up of trust or mastering something within yourself, you know. It's something like that. Yeah, look, introspection, the hermit. 
Virgo energy, yeah, three of swords. This could be, like I said, your egos, past hurts, past pain. This person could be doing like introspection too, but then the six of wands is behind it. I don't... I'm not gonna start making that damn noise. I don't like that. I don't like that noise, Cancer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so let's see, man. I feel like there's a lot there's a level of you don't feel secure. That but that's big though. But you have to look at why you don't yeah. I keep seeing the six of cups, introspection, inner child healing that you're doing. Look at why you don't feel secure. I feel like maybe somebody could be showing you security in their own way, but it's not really I don't know. It could be compatibility issues. I don't know, man. This is heavy. <laughs> it feels draining. What's, what's crumbs? It's a challenge, too, that I feel like you're going to be able to work through. This is all clarifying the chariot upright. Your insecurities are really coming up here. What's crumbs? Yeah, look. Wow. Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, this is, yeah, the five of wands, the lovers, the moon. There's like a third party here. That I feel like spirit is trying to work through things. I mean, spirit is trying to do things behind the scenes to bring you and somebody together or keep things stable and secure within your relationship. But there's a third party that's like, there's fear. The moon, the lovers, and the five of wands. And with that moon, honestly, I don't feel like there's deception. I feel like there is a level of just fear. I feel like you're used to like situations where you have to compete or people put you in competitions or something like that. But let's see, what's crumbs? Yeah, look, Ace of Cups. Like I said, there's something new or someone new coming in. If they haven't came in yet, I already feel their energy. <laughs> But for some of you, you are dealing with somebody new. You want to move. I feel like that Queen of Wands is still you. You want to move forward with things. But whatever this is, is going to take determination. Pushing through whatever adversity this is. It's going to take a lot. I, I ain't going to lie. It feels like you just really need to take your time. Okay, take your time. Don't let nobody, you know what I'm saying, no matter who it is. If they really love you and want to be with you or whatever the case, then... Just like they got to compromise certain things, so do you. And you know what I'm saying? It's vice versa. So, what's the Queen of Cups? I mean, Queen of Pentacles. The Justice. What's Queen of Pentacles with the Justice? The Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, something slowing down. So I feel like um, somebody here could be healing a mother wound. Somebody's name could be Jesse. I just heard Jesse. Um, someone could have a Sag Mercury. So things are balanced out. You're getting some sort of karmic justice here. You're still healing just like somebody else in your energy. Like both of y'all are healing. It's just y'all obviously are two very different people. You're going to handle things in certain situations in different ways. But the eight of wands in reverse is definitely like something losing its grip, losing momentum. Um, Something here about maybe bad timing or something here between maybe, I don't know, you and somebody from your past. There was something that that was just bad timing. For some of you, I'm hearing something about an argument. Okay, you know, what you put out is what you get back. So just make sure there's like not any negative like communication. I mean, there's gonna be fussing and fighting. That's just natural. So just be careful of like arguing or like, cause this is negativity. I feel like when the Eight of Wands is backwards, it's negative communication. <laughs> It is negativity automatically, but I feel like since that is a big communication card, there's some sort of argument or something like that. Uh, somebody here or, or something could be sent, could be going back to the sender too. Whatever was sent to you, 
it's going back to the sender or it's, it's something being sent to you some sort of negative um this could be a negative mindset or shit that you communicate to your damn self but let's see I feel like you're getting justice for something. I feel like there's like separate stories I'm pulling in here. It's just a lot going on with this energy. And I'm trying to, di you know, dissect everything. What's this Eight of Wands in reverse? Oh, the devil. Yeah. So I feel like this is you. You detached from something. Could be a Capricorn. The devil in reverse is you taking back control over your life again and reass reasserting like your power. This is you having control over your life again. Whatever whatever this was, I feel like you've regrounded yourself and got back balanced. Whatever this was right here, this eight of wands in reverse. What's the, um, something got canceled or, or it's just delayed, but I feel like something got canceled. Now you're being introduced to something new. And I feel like, like I said, you're kind of like worried about you being breadcrumbed or you being strung along again because of the timing of something new with somebody new, possibly. You know what I'm saying? Like, not every situation is going to be perfect. What's the justice? Okay. Yeah, this is somebody, for some of you, there's somebody else in your energy that's like in regret or sad. Or this is you. You could still be grieving or mourning something. Yeah, you took your power back, but that doesn't mean you're still not disappointed or sad about some, sad about something or someone. Okay. Feel like yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Three of Swords, Six of Wands, the Tower, the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> Someone could have a Scorpio Mars here. Yeah, there's maybe a, just a need to forgive. Three of Pentacles talks about commitment, dedication, hard work, studying, growing, learning. So yeah, there's there's a test here. The judgment of Three of Pentacles, something from your past is, is triggering you. That's what I just feel. <laughs> you took your power back from it though. But I feel like it's something from your past that you need to fully forgive in order to move forward. Or it's something, this retrograde is all about reviewing, reassessing things. So I feel like you're needing to, to introspect. Mm. You could have, you could be having a new beginning here with the Leo. It's going to take work here. King of Wands to the Queen of Wands is here. We got King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. I don't know. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. What's the Ace of Cups with the Page of Wands? Somebody here could be pregnant. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Something is taking time. There's a lesson here about your patience. The Hermit and the Hierophant and the Page of Cups. Introspection. <laughs> a lot of like inner child healing that somebody is doing. Or this is you. Something that you keep running away from or trying to escape. Or this is this person. Okay, I don't know. It could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's like this protective stubborn knight of pentacles is somebody that's like stubborn but they could be i mean obviously they're dependable they're loyal they're they're dedicated they're hard working but i just feel like there's a need to take things slow to be honest i feel like you have a lot of fun with this person with the page of wands this person is a provider a protector i mean it's something about someone here that gives off good energy or they have good intentions but i feel like there's wounding that both of y'all need to work through. This could be a counterpart too. On top of the fact that the circumstances don't look too ideal, especially if there's a third party with a child around, a child of this person's, or this is your child's father or, or child's mother, I don't know. But And then on top of the fact that you're triggered you don't want to be led on. Who child cancer? I 
What's intuitive as fuck here? Some of y'all definitely have new love coming in, though. I feel like you're going to be guarded, or this is this person. Mm -hmm. You're going to be careful. It's so sabotage. What's intuitive as fuck? Clarity seen through the illusions. Yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah, you're in two minds about something. You're trying to think and see what... Some of you guys... There, there's another situation here from your past where you were being juggled. <laughs> That's what I feel like. And you're triggered just by this. something. Th this past situation mirrors this new one. It really does. Yeah, two of wands of judgment. There's a need to be decisive about something. Or like I said, there's a partnership or relationship coming in that's going to test you. With the judgment for sure, a karmic lesson. Mm -hmm, child. I'm stressed already. What's <laughs> two of pentacles, Capricorn, Jupiter? What's intuitive as fuck? Yeah, look, the judgment. Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. It's going to really make you, like, master something about yourself or you're trying to master something about yourself. Some of you are, some of you guys can be getting a new job, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like, too, you're meeting somebody, Cancer, where this person is still trying to uh, master something about themselves. Like, they're still, still trying to find their purpose, Okay, so I mean that could that could cause for like ups and downs, kind of like too, you know. It's it's challenges. I ain't gonna lie. It's all about you know listen to spirit, child. I don't know what else to say. I really don't. What's so yeah? So the two of pentacles. This talks about being open, being flexible, adaptable. Things fluctuating. This could be your mood. Especially with intuitive as fuck with the moon here. You're, you could be moody. Okay, your mood could be up and down, back and forth. I feel like you're really trying to maintain balance with how you're feeling. What what looks like an illusion and what is really not an illusion. It's like I feel like you're trying to really um go within to work on yourself. Yeah, Ten of Wands. There's the baggage. Ten of Wands and the King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This person... Not saying that they're the problem... But they are carrying a lot from their past. Whoever this is, Ten of Wands, King of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. This this King of Cups right here is the match to this Queen of Cups in reverse, but they're a karmic couple. Okay, they're karmic. I feel like this person still feels emotionally, they're struggling emotionally to open up to you possibly because of so much shit, it's so much hurt. I feel like they're trying to release it though with the Ten of Wands. That's like walking away. But this person is, they feel abandoned, neglected, left out on a cold. So it could like, even though they're unintentionally doing it to you, like hurting you, they're hurting you though, kind of. And it's, it's ruining something or it's, it's can go there if y'all don't, communicate properly or whatever you know only you know what you have to do yeah look miscommunication five of swords four of pentacles with the miscommunication is going to make you want to hold back i don't know why this feels so like uh, what's the two of pentacles this reading is so deep today it feels i guess because okay yeah <laughs> because of retrograde and it's just like more so focusing on you and the things that you have to do to grow and to build versus what somebody else karmic is doing i'm just so sick of talking about karmic hoes to be honest but um we got ten of cups here in reverse pisces mars and then we got page of cups in reverse cancer pisces scorpio so water could be a, a lot of water here especially another cancer or scorpio or pisces whatever but um You're trying to figure out what to do about a situation. Now, this could be something that's dysfunctional in your family, or this could be the person you're dealing with. Spirit is telling you to, like, make a decision. I feel like you're you're definitely needing to listen to your intuition about it, though, because you could be scared about making the wrong decision. Yeah, Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Hierophant. 
Ten of Cups in reverse is definitely dysfunction. This could be somebody going through some sort of divorce or it could just be like a breakup. There's like a broken family. <sighs> and this Page of Cups in reverse could definitely talk about some of you guys. Somebody here is a cheater. They're very promiscuous. But this Page of Cups in reverse is definitely somebody that struggles with vulnerability. Okay. Or they, they're really not the most vulnerable it's because of somebody's childhood wounding or something from their past. Hold on, Cash. I'm trying to see something real quick. Why? It's a lot to take into account with this situation. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I feel like you... Some sort of childhood issues. Mm. yeah <laughs> i don't know what else to say from that i mean there could be somebody in your family that's just very jealous as well manipulative this could be somebody's child's mother or child's father but i feel like this is a relationship between you and somebody you and this person trying to get shit off the ground but i feel like it's really hard all right it's hard so you're really trying to listen to your intuition about it or this is you this is your own immaturity your own lack of vulnerability. I feel like somebody mirrors you. Okay. It's like, I don't know. What's the page of cups in reverse? That's like bad news too. Whatever. What's the... What's the page of cups in reverse? For some of you... Um, yeah, three of cups. What's the page of cups in reverse with three of cups? the world there's a situation too in your life cancer where there is you were dealing with somebody and their family members are very vindictive or jealous of you somebody here could be pregnant too and a child could turn out to could have turned out or could turn out to not be somebody's not be a masculine child because of the cheating somebody's promiscuous somebody could have slept with someone in someone's family <laughs> mm. i feel like this cycle has closed out somebody did put you in a third party already this cycle has closed out and so now i feel like you're trying to open up to different opportunities and even those are tough i mean all of them they're all any no no relationship is going to be perfect no friendship no relationship whatever it's just not it's just not so yeah two of wands let's see what's the judgment is what's the judgment Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. What's the judgment with the Ten of Wands in reverse? <laughs> Two of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, something's going to take hard work. It's going to take hard work. It is. I feel like there's some sort of awakening that you're having. You're definitely going through some sort of awakening here. You're being tested. You know, is love going to win over, yeah, the strong card with the Hierophant? challenges it's just challenges i don't know what else to say about it to be honest this is going to take hard work dedication studying growing there's a relationship here that's going to help you grow or awaken you to your own problems your own insecurities blah 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 you know what i'm saying i feel like you're just going to have to roll with the punches or you could not but it's going to repeat again <laughs> it's going to come up every retrograde and even without the retrograde it's going to come up you're always going to be triggered until you feel it, whatever it may be. And it definitely has something to do with your love life. Ten of Wands in reverse. That's like releasing a baggage or letting it go or something that you need to relax. Uh, need, I said need to relax. <laughs> what? Need to let go of. All 
eyes on you. Fill your cup. Yeah. And your bag. Yeah, I feel like, you know, Cancer, bottom of the deck is be of service, find an oracle, rest. I feel like there's just a need to just focus on you and let people come around when they when the time is right for them to do so right especially emotionally you can't force nobody to do nothing child you just can't so i feel like there's a need to pull back your energy because i feel like you're in this you're in this place of where you're receiving good karma and i feel like people do they kind of like come with their baggage and it could just like throw you off so i feel like there's just a need even if this person is in your life and y'all are actively working on a connection with each other there's just a need to like choose you don't be selfish but don't be overextending yourself either to the point where you're drained you know what i'm saying i feel like there's just a need to set boundaries yeah look i landed on this page so i'm gonna read it, it says fill your cup the element is air and water so it says deep cellular healing optimism hope for a bright future this card means that you have learned to appreciate your journey as a unique and guided ex guided experience with a higher purpose Pour into yourself. Come back to your earliest sources of joy, creativity, and inspiration, and you will find yourself in a time of supreme spiritual, emotional, and physical wellness. <clears throat> hmm. I landed on soulmate. It says all eyes on you. The element is fire. It says you are the star, the main character in the moment. Own every bit of that spotlight. You earned it. Your peers, co-workers, social media followers, clients, and bosses know who is still in the show right now. This card means you may receive a promotion, raise, award, or meaningful recognition. Don't shy away from a single compliment. Your flowers are long overdue. Yeah, especially in your career. With all eyes on you, fill your cup and in your bag. You guys are definitely on the right path as far as like your work and everything goes i just feel like it's hard for you because you don't done so much inner work it's hard for you to find somebody that's on your frequency they come with a lot of inner like wounding and things like that i feel like that's the hard part that you're gonna have to work through whoever this is i don't know if you're connecting with this person or not or this is like past shit but uh You just got to know who to be patient for here. I feel like you just need to be careful with energy vampires. You know what I'm saying? Or if energy is, is can't be reciprocated, you know? And if it can't be, or if it's like not, and there needs to be a conversation, then it needs to be a conversation. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't want to, you know, have a conversation about it or can't really get on your same get on the same page as you and y'all get on the same page together then i feel like that's when you kind of like gotta pull back you know so it just all depends i don't what's uh give me a shadow work card for cancer so it says self-critical are you constantly trying to prove yourself because you fear the judgment or disapproval from others Hmm. It says you are inclined to find fault in yourself by criticizing the actions or decisions you make. So it says you never feel completely content with yourself and you feel you can never do enough. Ultimately, this makes you feel you are not enough. Your weaknesses, shortcomings and mistakes are constantly on your mind and it feels like you can never get a break. Being too critical of yourself makes you feel sad and shameful it can ha and can have you become preoccupied with your own mistakes and failures. Your early childhood experiences or caregivers played an important role in forming your identity. The feedback you received were masked were masked with negativity instead of constructive feedback. Yeah. Some of y'all are really scared to like express your needs and your wants because first of all, you're scared you're not going to get it or you're scared that what you're asking for is too much and it's not. Like I said, there's something about negative communication here with the Eight of Wands in reverse. I don't know if you and this person got into an argument or what. But, um, um, the feedback you received were masked with negativity instead of constructive feedback, thus creating a sensitivity to making mistakes. You ultimately felt out of control or inferior to others. Begin by noticing your own thoughts and how your body feels physically. This can help decrease negative thoughts. 
Next, increase your self-compassion and accept that you are human and fallible and that's okay. So some of you guys, you, for some of you, you could have actually made a mistake. You could have actually did something. Okay, to somebody and it's just like you just be thinking about it a lot. You're indecisive. You don't you don't want somebody to leave you based on a mistake or something like that that you've made. And I feel like that's where unconditional love comes into a cups. You and this person are growing and learning together. So there is no need to like beat yourself up. People pleaser. <laughs> yeah, child. Do you feel worthless and think you have no purpose if you can't help others? You have a strong urge to please others even if at your own expense. You may fawn or people please to appease another person who could act as a potential source of threat and danger. This response causes you to change your behavior or hold back your opinions and desires in order to please another person and to avoid conflict. Fawning first develops in early childhood when a traumatic event has been perpetrated by a parent or caregiver. You may have learned to fawn to avoid any further abuse. You began to neglect your own feelings, opinions, wants, and needs in an attempt to, ke to keep the abuser happy and unbothered. This behavior developed more into adulthood where this action takes place without you even realizing it. Do you feel you are often being taken advantage by others? Do you have difficulty creating clear boundaries? If the answer is yes, it is time to confront your discomfort in saying no. Mm. So there's that. Let's pull one of these. Let me want to go answer. <laughs> um, yeah, there go the second house, Taurus. Then we have I saw the sixth house, Virgo. Something about stability, security, your routines, the way that you you're thinking. Your self-worth, that's what the, the second house represents too. And not just on a financial a aspect. Aquarius, collaborate. Scorpio, investigate. Jupiter, abundance. Pluto, rebirth. Yeah, square, semi-square, tension. <laughs> second house resources conjunction alliance ascendant entrance juno partnership isn't juno in like leo right now or something like that is happening with juno i forgot but ninth house exploration of sagittarius fourth house home let's see So it says the symbol for Aquarius is not water, but the water barrier. The person fetching, carrying, and pouring the water who provides a great service to the community. Aquarius is ruled by Saturn in traditional astrology, co-ruled by Uranus in modern astrology. And is connected to the ankles, which we use to turn from one person to another in conversation. The sun shines through Aquarius January 21st through February 20th. So it says for your action, it says live by your philosophy. Aquarius is traditional ruler. Saturn acts as how, I mean, acts as to know what society expects of us and to care about our reputation. However, Aquarius is co-ruler Uranus encourages us to be, to be, I mean, to free ourselves from tradition or others' opinions and be able to think outside the box. Yes, this can feel like a paradox, but it offers a healthy tension to manifest the true you. Know the pattern and riff on it with your own invention. To get to this free place, investigate your philosophy, which is your operating manual to make sure it's alive and authentic. When you feel your world view and your actions are integrated, it is easier to call in healthy collaborators. Cultivate allies, find others called by the same causes and work together. Weave people together to create community. This web will bring in new friendships, purpose, and connections, which may lead to romantic sparks. 
throughout the process consciously maintain a balance between your own needs and those of the collective. Yeah, you just got to find balance. You know? You pour into your cup. I mean, they pour into your cup, you pour into theirs. For your challenge, it says spiritual practice and personal philosophy can be used to bypass authentic emotions. So be honest with yourself and don't try to talk yourself into feelings you think you should have mm, or onto a path that others find more socially acceptable. If your philosophy clashes with your honest feelings, then your philosophy needs to evolve. If your lifestyle is not in line with your philosophy, then one or both needs to change. Mm. For your gift, it says the authentic Aquarius gift encourages you to let go of previous con constructs and listen to the source within. Honor the reality that you are a unique individual, <clears throat> but you also have a responsibility to contribute to the health of your community. Okay. I feel like that's what I'm saying. Like, whoever this is you're working with. If y'all put your heads together, you're going to be able to come up with something. Some of y'all could be going into business with somebody. I feel like someone's money is fluctuating. Okay, it's up and down. It's back and forth. But I also feel like there's a need to kind of like um, be open, be flexible too. It, it just all depends on the person that you're dealing with. Like if they're trying, that's one thing, I guess. But... You know, don't get too caught up on, like it, like it said, um, what you think you should be feeling, <laughs> you know. Let's get some advice, and then I'm going to go, honey, because I didn't want this reading to be this long, but, you know. Oh, and this light is off in here. I'm not used to my light being off like that. Okay. Give me a few... Um, cards for cancer so it says this is a time of heightened creativity golden ideas and personal growth yeah you may be taking on a new hobby or a leap of faith with a business endeavor trust your talents and put yourself out there yeah, some of y'all are going into business with somebody. You're collaborating with someone on a business. Maybe that should be the focus first before your emotions. Because I just feel like emotionally, you and this person are not... Because it's so much wounding or you're still healing. You and this person are still healing from something. They're not able to give to you emotionally. Which is going to fuck up the, the trust and things like that between y'all two. I feel like there's just a need to take a step back. And just let things be how they're going to be. And let this person come around. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're at a point in your life where you're able to do that, though. Because you found, like, this um, this level of peace within yourself. So you're not going to be pressed or pushed for anything. It's just, it is what it is, right? <laughs> like, I feel like they're a good person and so are you. But it's just trying to get this person to open up emotionally is just a, a lot. It's draining. And it builds up resentment. So you don't want you don't want a good collaboration, especially a good business partner. You know, you don't want that shit to, to the the lack of trust y'all have for each other based on your own past situations and trauma. You don't want that to ruin a business partnership. So it says the natural world has a wealth of beauty and wisdom for you at this time. Explore her herbal remedies, holistic healing and other ancient practices that have something valuable to teach. Touch the earth. What else? <laughs> yeah. There may be a battle between your ego and your higher self in regards to a certain decision you must make. Your higher self will always point you into the direction that is best for you. Take time to tune inwards for the answer. Hmm. Expect the unexpected. A sudden change or shift is in store for you. Whatever it is, it is for the best. Everything happens for a reason, even if it seems challenging at first. Oh, boy. It says, healing tunes, frequencies, and other forms of sound healing will benefit you greatly now. This will allow your vibration to tune to a higher frequency. Set aside time to unwind with sound 
And then it says, journaling your thoughts, worries, or ideas can be a healing tool for you at this moment. Pick up a pen and paper and write out whatever is on your mind or perhaps whatever you wish to manifest. Your thoughts need an outlet. Yeah. So I feel like that's the safest thing to do. <laughs> mm. It's time to disconnect from external noise, distracting you from the truth of your intuition, which may be clouded at this time. Go within and trust your inner voice. I feel like it's your emotions that are clouding it a bit. And I feel like, too, it's because you're emotionally invested in something where you're not getting it reciprocated. Because they are healing from some trauma. Or at least they should be trying to. I feel like that's what you need to look at. If a person is actively not trying to heal from anything, then that's when you kind of like need to call it quits. Or at least try to have a conversation about it first. And if they don't want to talk about it, then there's nothing you could do. But the energy needs to be reciprocal. And I feel like when you're dealing with somebody, if you're not able to open up the way that you would like to open up to them and they reject it because of their own trauma that they don't want to work through, then that's kind of like a them problem. It really is. And it's not to be mean or rude or none of that shit. It's just real. Because it's not fair. You shouldn't have to hold back how you feel or... You shouldn't want to hold back your cup of love because they're not receptive to it because of their own trauma. You feel what I'm saying? Like either we're going to work together to get through the trauma and go through the healing, go do the healing work or we just, it's just not going to work. That's just period. Or I'm going to just give you your space. You give me mine. <laughs> I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say about that. Really? I really don't. Because that's what it feel like. But anywho, Cancer, let me know in the comments how this resonated. This reading was very complicated, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. But um, this was your reading, though. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys don't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.